So, about the convention. Okay, what you want to know? Rhode Island didn't send any delegates? See, they refused to participate. They liked the way it was. Giving power to the federal government took the power away from the states. They figured leaving it was the best way to keep democracy. And because it's smaller. Yeah, it breaks down like this. Okay, Rhode Island is a tiny little state. Now, giving power to the federal government was okay for the big states, but Rhode Island wouldn't get a lot of power. They wanted to keep the representation they had with a strong state government under the Articles of Confederation. You know, everyone thought it was real cheesy that Rhode Island didn't show. They gave it a nickname. What did they call it? Rhode Island with cheese. Rhode Island with cheese. The Constitutional Convention took place in 1787. Unfortunately, it took a while, and it ended up lasting from May 25th to September 17th. It's a long time. Three months and 22 days. It's a long time. A $5 milkshake for the lady, and a Coke for the man with the bad haircut that probably doesn't know anything about the Constitution. I actually know a lot about the Constitution. You know, I was just talking to my friend about it, and, uh... Are you listening to me? You know me. You really aren't listening. You're being a pest. I don't want this drink at all. Now, Mr. Willis, as a U.S. history teacher, I'm required to give you a rundown of what happened at the Constitutional Convention. Alright. Well, first, you should know that it was originally the Articles of Confederation, but, see, that didn't really work. So they decided they needed a new form of government and met in Philadelphia to draft up the U.S. Constitution. Now this is where they created the system of checks and balances, and the three branches of government. Now, Bruce, since you're actually in a dream, I'm going to hand you a very large envelope of money. You have to be careful with it. Okay, take it. Now you're going to wake up as a boxer. <gasps>